How's it going guys? Rhino here and welcome to another video on my secondary channel where I'm going to be responding to a video posted by Milo Stewart. The He posted a video, sorry, let me start off by saying that uh, this person identifies as trans and in hopes of not offending this individual or anyone else, I'm going to try to avoid gender pronouns as much as possible when referring to this individual because they may not want to be referred to. So I'm going to try my best to refer to them as Milo or them or something of that sort, or say you, cause I'm, I'm, this is a response. So I'm talking directly to this person, but I just want to start off with that, that I don't mean any offense. If I call you by the wrong gender pronouns, I promise I'm not taunting you or anything. I understand that you are trans. And so that may offend you, but I'm responding to this video that, and Milo actually posted a video a while ago. I don't know how long ago, but a little while ago where uh, Milo stated some very pretty outward things. And I'm probably going to link that video in the description. The first video is Milo's first video that I'm not responding to. I'm actually responding to the most recent video. And this that will probably be linked down below as well, the second video. And I wanna preface this by saying that this is a response hold on, uh, this is a response to some harassment that this individual has been getting because of a video they posted and some bigger YouTubers like Leafy have been responding to it and their fans have been going and just harassing this person. Uh, I don't I don't blame Leafy at all or any of the other big YouTubers that have called them out. If you disagree with this person's ideas, which I personally do, I, I strongly disagree with, this, with Milo's ideas, then you attack the ideas. You don't attack the individual. Don't go harass this person saying that they need to kill themselves or give them direct threats of violence or rape or anything like that. If you are going to find this person or go in the description and click on their video and watch it and post a comment, either be constructive or just make sure you're attacking their ideas. That's it. Not, not attacking the individual. That's what this video is about. But there are some things that I feel like I want to personally respond to as well. So let's let's get right into this youtube let me help you help me let me help you to help me sorry my experiences with harassment you'll notice that there are quite a few dislikes which means the this video has already been hit pretty hard by people who disagree with this individual and um, i'm not going to leave a rating but let's get into this this is an open letter to youtube in which i'm going to discuss some harassment that i have received however this quick little side note once again well, just reiteration, do not go out and attack this and harass this individual. I don't know what specific harassment this person is talking about, but it's not okay. Don't do it. This video is in no way intended to be directed at my harassers. I genuinely want to spend no time directly addressing them because to me that's a waste of time. kind of think that was kind of directing some time to them and wasting time, but whatever. This video is an open letter to YouTube that anyone who wants to engage in a healthy discussion is welcome to also join in on. That's what I'm doing. Cute and canny. One is one out of many. Dear okay, one criticism that's pretty universal that people have been saying about this individual is that their intro is very annoying and weird, and I have to agree. I don't like your intro, but I mean, I, you probably don't give a shit about my opinion, so whatever. Hey YouTube, my name is Milo Stewart, and I am a YouTuber who likes to vlog about gender and sexuality issues, but also okay. just about my life and about writing and other hobbies. Good for but you. But specifically pertaining to this video, it is important to note that I identify as transgender and non-binary. Transgender. And important to this video, I identify as, sorry, what did you start? Tran, did you start with transgender? Cause if that's the case, then I identify as cisgender. I was born a male and I still am a male. I identify as a male and my sexuality is heterosexual. Just feel like I should introduce myself too. Meaning oh, and my name is Ryan Patty. I forgot to add that part. Yeah, my name is Ryan Patty. There we go. Sorry, sorry. Someone who identifies as a gender other than the one they were assigned at birth and non binary. Okay, one thing here. I'm sorry that I'm pausing so much. I'm going to try to get through this video with, without making this personal video too terribly long, but it's not necessarily that you were assigned to the gender at birth, it's based on biology. 
you can actually identify someone not only physically, but by looking at their chromosomes. And it's typically done, I'm not a biologist or a doctor, but it's typically done by if you have a Y chromosome present at all, then you are a male. If there is no Y chromosome present, then you are a female. There are very, very minuscule cases where there is like, I think it's two X's and a Y and it causes some problems and just like pretty much uh, the the gender or the the sex chromosomes any i don't even know how to describe it really uh any problems with the sex chromosomes can cause some problems with your gender and the way you're physically born in that case i kind of could understand some problems with assigning a gender but it's pretty safe to go off of what genitalia is present and what is not present now this is no reference or no direct attack on you being trans. I I don't have any problems with people being transgender at all. I understand that people can be born in a male body and have a female brain or be born in a female body and have a male brain. So, yeah. Binary meaning someone who does not identify as entirely male or entirely female. And I have no problem with that either. I don't care what gender you identify as. My only problem is if you appear to be one gender or the other and you get offended when someone calls you that. I try to reduce the amount of times that I offend someone as much as possible. And so if someone tells me, hey, I like if I mistakenly call someone a he and they prefer to identify as a she, if they tell me that they don't get offended, then in all future references, I will call them a she. But if they get offended by it, then I kind of have a little bit of a problem because you are physically appearing more as one gender over the other. So you shouldn't get offended by that. I understand if you don't want to identify as that gender and I will call you by the gender that you wish to be identified as from hence then fo forward. So, yeah. It's really no secret that YouTube struggles with harassment issues, especially targeted okay. at LGBT YouTubers. No, I disagree with that. A lot of the harassment that happens on YouTube is to anybody that is considered weird. This would include LGBTQ community, which I don't think is weird, by the way. I'm using finger quotes as what people would generally describe it as. That is just one part of it. That is, it, it can be anybody. I mean, you just look at Leafy, Leafy is Here's channel and you'll see all the type of stuff that likes to get harassed. It's not LGBTQ specific. It's people like... Uh, radical feminist. It's people like uh, this one one guy who dresses like in really weird garb the whole video. It's people who make videos where they are like talking about drinking bleach and it's just, it's pretty much anybody who is considered weird. That is who is attacked. It's not spe targeted specific at the LGBTQ community. It's more broad than that. That's my only saying th thing I have to input there. Everyone knows that the reaction to hashtag proud to be videos was absolute shit. Everyone got a crap. Okay, I want to just mention, I don't know proud to be and I don't know the response. So yeah. Ton of hate on those videos. Even people who don't get any hate like at all, everyone was being targeted for posting videos in that hashtag. The Not Adam and Skylar already made wonderful videos about the responses they got to their hashtag proud to be videos. You can go ahead and watch those. I would really recommend them. But that is not specifically what this video is about. I wanted to address a larger issue of harassment that I think became apparent to YouTube and a lot of people from the hashtag proud to be videos, but that really reaches a lot farther than just that hashtag. It probably wouldn't come as a shock to most people that different groups receive different levels of online harassment. Okay, and I'm not going, I, you may address this afterwards, but you are a part of one group. So you may not, you may think you, I mean, I don't know how you're going to go with this, but you may think you receive the largest amount of hate that the LGBTQ community receives the largest amount of hate, but that could not be the case or may not be the case. You, you would have to experience the hate from each of those groups to understand which group actually gets the most hate and which one feels it the most. So just a little input there. An October 2014 study from the Pew Research Center notes that although men and women tend to receive 
similar rates of harassment overall, with 44% of men experiencing harassment compared to 37% of women. Young women ages 18 to 24 reported higher rates of some very scary forms of harassment, specifically being stalked or sexually harassed. Okay, but that is simply a report. Um, you're, you're going off of people just reporting that that happened to them. There's no evidence that that actually happened. Someone could say they were uh, stalked when in reality someone just texted them twice. Or someone could say they were sexually harassed when someone just said, oh, hi, beautiful, on the street. You're going off of what people will define as their own definitions for each of those. And I have seen some pretty crazy definitions of things like stalking, sexual harassment, even things as far as rape. So a, a simple report that isn't based off of evidence, but people reporting in isn't something that stands as evidence, very strong evidence for me, but it depends on what point you're trying to make. Also, a 2013 report from the Gay and Lesbian Education Network notes that LGBT youth reported nearly three times as much online harassment as non-LGBT youth. Specific That's because there's a lot of hateful people out there who aren't necessarily homophobic, but just say harm, uh, hurtful things online or are homophobic. Today, I want to talk about a fairly new genre of YouTube video called roasting videos. Okay, fair enough. I typically don't like the actual roasting videos, but it depends on what you're defining as a roasting video. If you're talking about this as a, a response video as a roasting video, then we disagree on what is a roasting video. Now, some of these are okay because there are some weird people in this world who enjoy being roasted, but... It's not about the enjoyment of being roasted. It's the fact that we have the freedom of speech. Someone can come on here and say anything they want to within reason. And especially if you are online like yourself, Milo, you are posting videos on an online forum. When you do so, anyone can attack you with anything they want within reason once again. And it's not about if you want to be uh, roasted or not. This is a public website. Some of these are not okay, and they incite harassment and really gross behavior towards the people that they are reacting. Okay, I watched Leafy's vi first video on you. He made two, actually, one responding to this one, which made me want to respond to this. But in the first video, he actually never incited harassment. The fact that he simply called out and disagreed with your opinion and then his fans happen to go and attack you is a different, he wasn't inciting harassment. He was simply disagreeing with you. His fans are the ones that harassed you. The, the video, I mean, he specifically says, do not go out and harass these people. So that's something that really needs to be kept in mind here. How these videos work is that one creator takes another YouTuber's video completely reacts to it, includes clips from the original video in their video, and then becomes popular and gets lots of views from reacting to this video. There okay, um, I disagree with that because I, you just described what I'm doing right here, but I'm not, uh, this is not a roasting video. This is me responding to you. Roasting is when you're just attacking someone. Typically attacking someone for things like me saying, me attacking you because you are trans or me attacking you because you're non-binary. That would be more like roasting because I'm attacking you as a person. Right now I'm attacking your ideas, which is a completely different thing. I'm responding to your video and you said you're open to discussion and so this is that discussion. This is my response to you. Uh, the only thing is this video is not going to get popular and get tons of views. I'm guessing I'll probably get like 10, 15 views at most on this video, but whatever, let's continue. There are a lot of these channels which especially target feminist, LGBTQ people, and so-called social justice warriors. With exceptions to from people like Leafy, he does do feminist videos, but the majority of his videos are not about feminism. But I would, uh, for the most part, I would, I would agree with what you said. Want to make it be known that these type of videos are not solely made by anti-feminists. I have seen a handful of feminists 
or social justice warriors who make this type of video, but I think the majority of them are anti-feminists, or at least the most popular ones tend to be anti-feminists. Several okay, of these channels have taken jabs off of my videos. You don't have to go far into my comment sections to realize that they are all full of really terrible comments. People will also subscribe to my channel just so that they can dislike every single video that I post, regardless of the content. How yeah, that happens. That's YouTube. I've had that happen and still have that happen to this day. However, the harassment that I have received does not stop online. I have legitimately feared for my safety in real life because of the harassment that started online. Okay, that's fucked up. I don't know. I mean, you're probably going to go more into it, but do not ever attack someone in a way that makes them feel not feel safe. That's, that is beyond fucked up. And I completely disagree with Milo in, when it came to their original ideas, which their original ideas were that all white people are racist, all men are sexist, all cis, cis, cisgendered people are transphobic. And I think there was a few others. Um, I 100% disagree. I think that Milo is not only stupid in this um, assumption or this this opinion of theirs, but that it is actually a very harmful thing. However, there's no way I would ever threaten Milo with anything other than attacking their ideas, which is what you do. You attack the ideas. That's it. A lot of people from my school found these videos, started watching them obsessively, and then decided to publicly shame me in school. Other people from my Ouch. school found out who I am from these videos and then decided to make my life a living hell. A particular national socialist, aka Nazi, oh, found fuck. my YouTube channel from one of these roast. Okay, hold on. Let me read this. Uh, I go to your school. I'm the one that goes to the library and a lunch with the bag on my side, the big one, bodybuilder. I disagree with feminism, modern that is, because we have no need for it. I'm a national socialist, and I think equality does not work. Okay, well that's a that's a fucked up. Okay, that's just fucked videos, up. Videos and then decided to let me know that they know. Who I am. Then when my school went on lockdown a few weeks later, I legitimately was in fear that I was going to be targeted in some attack that I imagined in my head because this national socialist had gotten detention for saying he wanted to kill people. I had no Holy idea shit. who these people were from my school. So Throughout the rest of my senior year, I lived in fear of someone coming up to me and attacking me or verbally attacking me or physically attacking me. I went to my... There's no excuse for that. There, there, there's just no excuse for that behavior. But that's what happens when you post stuff online. That can happen. I, we can't change how the YouTube community or how the online community is. So anytime you post your videos publicly this can happen. And I, I sincerely apologize that you have to go through this. Um, I've personally been attacked and received death threats and stuff, but um, I do so with confidence. I post these videos with confidence because I'm not worried about that. And I take full responsibility for whatever happens. And I take, well, not responsibility, full knowledge of what may come, what may happen, the consequences of my actions of posting these videos. So just wanted to input that there. But I apologize for what you've go you're going through. My assistant principal about this, uh, but <sighs> do schools really ever do anything about harassment, specifically online harassment? Yes, very much so they do. Um, there was multiple cases in, throughout my uh, upper grade, middle, and uh, high school where there was online harassment and the school took it very seriously. And actually in a couple cases, almost too seriously. So just wanted to put that there. Cause I don't, in my experience, they haven't. Thankfully in my experience at VidCon was absolutely lovely. No nasty experiences happened because of the harassment I've received. But I made an announcement video saying that I was going to be attending VidCon and 
just got a load of death threats on that video. None of these YouTubers who make roasting videos take any responsibility for their fans' actions towards the creators, nor do they take responsibility for the often harassing language used in their own videos. So okay, um, I, I can't speak for all the videos that were made, but from the few that I've seen, I've seen The Amazing Atheist's response. I think I've seen one other, and then I saw Leafy's, and none of them were responsible for the harassment. They are not responsible for what their fans do, especially when they openly say, do not attack, do not harass this person, and, and put disclaimers and stuff. If the person which hunts you themselves, it is on them, it is not on the YouTuber. And uh, none of them had any harassing language in the, the video itself. I mean, Leafy kind of bordered on it. He made some He made some borderline jokes. I think my, the video just froze for a second. I hope it didn't. Um, but yeah, there was there was some borderline stuff going on, but nothing that he needed to take responsibility for, and absolutely nothing that is worth like a ban or anything. Several videos have been made about me calling me slurs, joking about me dying, joking about people killing themselves from watching my videos. Because no Haven't one seen ever that. thinks they're responsible for inciting harassment, and because YouTube's guidelines are pretty vague about what actually counts as inciting harassment. Well, I mean, it, if it, it's pretty clear, if someone tells you go hate on this person, go call this person a, I think tranny is offensive. Go call this person a tranny, or go say this person should kill themselves. That's inciting harassment. Just calling out your ideas is not inciting harassment talk about this situation about these roasting videos and how many of them do incite harassment first off we okay. need to realize that there is extreme power in having a large sized audience very and true an extreme power imbalance between two youtubers where one has a lot more subscribers than the other yes but usually when it comes to things like this the one with the prevailing ideas the ones that have the more reasonable ideas are the ones that resonate the most based on the fact that you have 670 likes and 10,000 dislikes roughly that's estimating um your ideas don't resonate and that usually is because people aren't as and i hate to sound offensive here but aren't as crazy as you you do have very crazy and radical ideas saying that oh everyone who's white is racist and so, and so on and so forth so yeah, um, I'm, I'm just going to continue. A lot of times these roasting videos are made by one YouTuber with way more subscribers than the person they're roasting. This is bad okay. and yeah. very terrible abuse of power. No, it's not abuse of power. It is simply, I mean, sometimes like in Leafy's situation is pretty much doing it for entertainment and money. Um, in the Amazing Atheist's point of view, it is he's he is someone who attacks these harmful ideas, like saying everyone is every white person is racist. That is a very harmful idea, and so he attacks this idea. It is not about uh, it is not about the power. It is not about trying to harm you or anything. It is attacking the idea and hoping uh, a lot of it has to do with number one, making sure that none of his fans ever think that any ideas like this are remotely good or uh, helpful and number two ensuring that well hoping that someone who is on the edge about something like this may tip when they hear oh this is just how stupid this idea is because that means that the person who is being roasted has less power to fight the harassment that comes in terms of video to video what should matter the most is ideas if you can attack the person's ideas, then that's what you should do. If you get, I mean, if you honestly had great ideas and got 700 likes and 10,000 dislikes, then so be it. Who cares? I mean, honestly, I don't know. I can't tell if your videos are monetized or not, but that would just mean extra money for you. Fuck the, fuck the haters. Fuck the comments. That doesn't matter. But in terms of ideas, you are losing the battle because you don't provide any sort of evidence. And actually, that's one of the contentions I have with your first videos. You make these insane claims without any evidence and in in the realm of ideas 
way more people are siding with the logical side that, you know, a person may be racist or sexist, but it's on a case by case basis. You are not inherently sexist or racist because of your gender or genitalia, race or genitalia, sorry. Because they don't have that army of fans to go and report the harassing video or to support them in the comments. And these videos just get overtaken with dislikes and mean comments. The power that comes with having a large audience and a lot of fans is that a lot of people will look up to you and see you as a role model and will then use you as an example of how to behave. What these roasting videos do is they often set the tone for the type of comments and responses that that roasting video will create and what type of harassment will be sent towards the poster of the original video. Okay, and that's perfectly fine. That's how it should be. None of the videos that I've seen, and I'm not saying I've seen them all because I'll bet you have gotten some pretty shitty videos, but none of the big videos that I've seen uh, are bad in this way. None of them. And they, if, if you were to follow how the Amazing Atheist, I mean, it might contain some colorful language, but they're actually legitimately attacking your ideas, not you as a person. And attacking, saying you're stupid is more of attacking your ideas than you as a person, but it could be found as offensive. For example, if you make a roasting video in which you joke about suicide or use slurs, your comments will probably be equally as trashy and worse. That's just generally how kind of. YouTube works. You don't start an intellectual, peaceful, calm debate by joking about suicide. Combi Which you will never find me doing. I do not condone or endorse suicide in any way. No one should attack this person saying they should commit suicide or in have it say anything to do with suicide. Uh, your attacks should be attacking their ideas. And that's it. Ideas only. Find that type of inappropriate tone setting with a direct response to someone in which their video is not By the way, quick quick thing, you have a very high quality camera. I'm, I, I'd like to know what camera you use if you happen to ever see this video, but whatever. I, I, kind of, I'm, I, I'm weird. ...included in it, and a link to that video is in the description. Which Leafy doesn't have, by the way. And you, per, you come up with an easy way to send harassment towards someone. E Except for they're not sending harassment, they're enabling harassment. And it's enabling harassment is something entirely different. Based on your definition, uh, YouTube enables harassment simply because they allow it to happen. They give the access to the content and the people happen to choose to go do that. That's it. There's nothing harmful about that. Enabling harassment isn't bad. It's actually endorsing or condoning harassment that is bad. Even if you don't directly say, go and harass this person, you're still indirectly telling people to do that because of your tone. Depends on your tone. And because of the language that you use towards the person in your roasting video. In general, we YouTubers know our audiences pretty well. We know how our audiences generally respond to things. And if we make a video about someone, we will generally know what type of responses are given to that type of person. That's why I think it's sort of insulting your own intelligence to say that you are not responsible for these types of responses because if you're a YouTuber who makes roasting videos, you can see the type of response that comes from that. Never mind. And if you generally care about not initiating harassment, then you would stop making videos that send harassment towards someone. This but it's not sending harassment it's once again mo most of the videos that i've seen especially the biggest biggest videos the most popular ones especially like leafy's they are attacking your ideas with maybe a couple like jokes in the middle but a joke is a joke it it's they're not sending harassment by attacking your ideas otherwise technically i'm sending harassment even though i don't have on this channel i've like no viewers whatsoever i still could be sending harassment based on your definition which is not the case. I am sending criticism. There's a difference, and I'm spreading bad. I'm spreading bad ideas in hopes that people can see that these are bad ideas. This so is something that I'm even aware of as a creator. It's why I haven't mentioned any specific YouTubers in this video because I don't want to provide a platform for harassment to be sent to someone. The reason. 
no, I'm not this video to is an open letter to YouTube and not an open letter to my harassers is because I believe I have a better chance at affecting change if I appeal to YouTube rather than to my harassers. You're not going to have a great time with that because people can see through your ideas and see the the harm and the bullshit behind your ideas. And so your ideas will continuously get attacked no matter what. And if you want to stop the harassment, you would just have to stop sharing your ideas. I'm not saying do that. What I'm saying is the harassment, as long as you share these harmful, bad ideas, you're going to get harassed. You need to realize that. I genuinely believe these people who make roasting videos probably don't have any intention of stopping soon. So even though it may be hard to communicate with YouTube to get them to change something about the website, I'm going to attempt to provide some solutions to YouTube to know how to better deal with the situation. Note that I do not know anything about running a website or computer programming or anything. These are just some ideas that I've come up with as a user, which I think would be okay. a great feature. This could be good. That would be very helpful to me to stop this type of harassment. Firstly, I want to say that I do not believe that deleting channels and or videos is always the best way to deal with harassment. Very well said. I mean, I, I, I'm not generalizing you and I actually don't know if you're a feminist. I kind of assume you are a feminist, but most people in the feminist movement are the ones who say videos and accounts and stuff need to get deleted. Anita Sarkeesian is famous for this. And I, it's, it's, it's refreshing hearing a change of pace from that. It's not always the best way to deal with harassment. Taking down channels and videos is something that creates a lot of controversy and attention. And it's generally more of a motivator to people making these type of videos than a detractor because it means that they have the potential to get more attention. In Okay, well, there you kind of stray and lose a little bit of my respect there because you're basing it off of your, your fear of just spreading the harassment. It's not based on the fact that people have the freedom of speech and should be able to say these things if they want, especially a lot of the videos that you would deem as harassment that I wouldn't because they're simply attacking your ideas. Instead, in some instances where the harassing video does not provide any immediate danger for the person being roasted, I think that a better system would be to just change the way that the reported video shows up in the algorithm. So if a video is reported and the report is found to be true and it is harassment, but it is not an actual danger and the person who is being harassed does not see a need to have it taken down, I think it'd be a lot more helpful if YouTube just changed the way the algorithm sees reported videos so that it wouldn't be promoted. Like if you search- I'm sorry, but that, that the way she worded that was pretty funny. My name on YouTube- Sorry, look in not any she, of my not she, not she. They, they worded it. My apologies. Recommended videos, I don't know what side it's on. Most of them, or at least a good majority of them, are going to be roasting videos. Let's take a look at that. Cringiest moments. Yes, that's a roasting video. But that's more of just like showing your cringiest moments. That's like kind of a roasting video just in the title. Uh, I don't know how many of these are, and most of them don't look like it. But I agree with that. Um, I believe that a response video shouldn't show up for that original thing. So, you know, I agree that if uh, Milo Stewart, if you were to search, I mean, that's not a U URL by any means, but um, if you were to search Milo Stewart, I actually searched Maloop. That's the only way I knew to find uh, this person. <laughs> but if you searched... Milo Stewart, I don't believe any response videos should come up initially. They should be further down. However, if you were to search Milo Stewart response, then they'd show up. I, I, I agree with that idea. With that, I believe that's I a good idea. I think if you took away the chance of becoming famous or getting a lot of views or money from these type of videos, it would make people less inclined to keep making them. A lot of it has to do with entertainment, though. Like someone like Leafy, he doesn't get promotion from people searching your video he gets promotion from people already finding his video and finding it entertaining 
Um, someone like me, I mean, there there is the possibility that I get some exposure from this, but that's not why I'm doing it. Uh, however, it would be very minuscule at best, and that's just it, like it, the the majority of the views would come from people specifically searching for responses to you, not people just searching your name randomly and coming upon the video. Secondly, why is there no way to view the oldest comments first in the comment section? The reason That's true. why this would be helpful is because when I post a video, the That's first true. That's true. day or so of comments is generally pretty clean and very constructive. Lots of good debate and helpful comments and helpful criticism and support and all the good things. And then the days after that, the amount of supportive comments goes down and the amount of kill yourself comments goes up. So when a video has been receiving attacks for weeks or months, the supportive comments go away. There's ultimately no way to see them because they're buried at the very, very bottom of thousands and thousands of comments. You could try blocking the hateful accounts if you wanted. Uh, some people would call that cowardly. I don't think so. I mean, if someone tells you to kill yourself, I believe you have every right to block that individual. It's if you block dissenting opinions, then there's, you know, more of a, oh, wait, what a fucking coward. But I, I mean, I agree with that. I believe that there should be a, a latest or lo latest, oldest first. That'd just be a cool thing. And there actually may be a way that you can like uh, do inspect element, change the coding so that oldest comments come up first. I don't know. Um, I've never tried, but um, that's a generally good idea, and I don't have too much contention with what's being said. Lastly, I think it would be great to have a way to block certain traffic sources on a video. For example, if a video is made that's roasting one of my videos, and they put a link to my video in the comments, I think it'd be an awesome idea for me to have a way to prevent people coming from that video. They would just circumvent it. I mean, that would be that 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 could be possible, but it would just be circumvented because it could be a simple. I mean, people themselves would be smart enough to see, oh, uh, your name is Milo Stewart, so I'm just going to type in Milo Stewart in the search bar, and there's no way you can filter that out specifically. Or the the posters will just be like, all right, so this person's blocking my links. All you need to do to find the video is type blah, blah, blah in the search bar. So there, it would just be too easily circumvented. That That's not necessarily a bad idea. It's just that's an idea that wouldn't work. I don't know if that's possible, but if I could block that traffic source, it would make it harder for people to get to my video to harass it. So those are my thoughts. I think that harassment and what it means to incite harassment is most definitely an ongoing conversation. And I think we need to continue to talk about it more. Um, my good pals Marina Shut Up and Megan McKay already made videos on very similar topics and their experiences with harassment. I would recommend both of their videos as they I'm not gonna are watch lovely the videos. human beings and wonderful content creators. Support people if you see them getting harassed. Leave nice comments if you are able to deal with the type of responses and replies you may get. Tweet this at YouTube people if you no YouTube people. The, there's four seconds left. So I know I know what you're saying. Um, sadly, that's not going to happen. Um, YouTube doesn't respond to these things, and they don't make changes that we want, regardless of how popular they are. But that's about it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. The links are in the description below. I will probably be responding to Milo's first video, actually, now that I think about it um, in a little bit, and so we'll see. But thank you guys for watching. Be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, have a nice day.